anybody can learn a second language in six months. There are five principles and seven actions. The first rule, first principle for learning a language is focus on language content that is relevant to you. I had a colleague many years ago, we had 48 hours to deliver a training manual in Chinese. In 48 hours, she learned to type Chinese because it was relevant, it was meaningful, it was important. So the second principle for learning a language is to use your language as a tool to communicate right from day one. When I first arrived in China, I didn't speak a word of Chinese. On my second week, I got to take a train ride overnight. I spent eight hours sitting in the dining car talking to one of the guards on the train in Chinese. And he was drawing pictures and making movements with his hands. And piece by piece by piece, I understood more and more. Two weeks later, when people were talking Chinese around me, I was understanding some of this. And I hadn't even made any effort to learn that. Which brings us to the third principle. When you first understand the message, then you will acquire the language unconsciously. And language learning, it's about physiological training. Because we have filters in our brain that filter out the sounds of languages that we're not familiar with. And if you can't hear it, you won't understand it. Speaking takes muscle. You have to coordinate those in a way that you make sounds that other people will understand. And the final principle, if you're sad, angry, worried, upset, you're not going to learn, period. You need to be tolerant of ambiguity. If you're one of those people who needs to understand 100% every word you're hearing, you will go nuts. If you're comfortable with getting some, not getting some, paying attention to what you do understand, you're going to be fine, you'll be relaxed, and you'll be learning quickly. What are the seven actions that you take? Number one, listen a lot. Doesn't matter if you understand it or not. You're listening to the rhythms, you're listening to patterns that repeat, you're listening to things that stand out. The second action, get the meaning first, even before you get the word. From body language, you can understand a lot of communication. The third action, start mixing. If you've got 10 verbs, 10 nouns, and 10 adjectives, you can say 1,000 different things. Focus on the core. With every language, there's high frequency content. In English, 1,000 words covers 85 percent of anything you're ever going to say in daily communication. Start with your toolbox. Week number one. How do you say that? I don't understand. Repeat that please. What does that mean? By week two, me, this, you, that. And by the third or fourth week, although, but, therefore, you should get yourself a language parent who will communicate with you essentially as an equal. First of all, they will work hard to understand what you mean even when you're way off. Secondly, they will never correct your mistakes. Thirdly, they will feed back their understanding of what you're saying so that you can respond. And then they will use words that you know. The sixth thing you have to do is copy the face. You've got to get the muscles working right. And the final idea here, what you need to do is realize that everything you know is an image inside your mind. If you talk about fire, you can smell the smoke and you can see the flames. There are five principles, seven actions. Do them all. You're going to be fluent in a second language in six months. Thank you.